We're at Houston Hot Chicken. I've never been. It's brand new in the Arts District. We spent the morning looking at antique stores and bought... Nothing. Zero. Nothing. So now we're going to have a bite to eat. We thought we'd bring you along with us to Houston Hot Chicken. It is a franchise, but I've never been. Have you? Mm -hmm. been, we've had Nashville Hot Chicken, never had Houston Hot Chicken. We're going to see how it is. If you like hot chicken, please put in the comments where you prefer your hot chicken from Nashville, Houston. Are there any other places to get hot chicken? Memphis? I have no idea. If that's a thing or not, I don't know. Let's go. Tinder's mild, he said. Tinder's mild. I think that's what you got too, right? Oh, it's a waffle. That's right. And it comes with Mrs. Buttersworth. Nice. How cool is that? Try it out. That's so cool. Do I eat this with my hands? I don't know. We don't have any. Oh, there's napkins. Just don't touch your eyes. Is it hot? No? It's not hot. It looks fiercely hot. How red it is. It's not hot. It's mild, he said. Mm It looks great. This is the medium, and this is the honey butter, I believe. It looks very different from the mild. It's that color. Oh, my, my mine is mild. It's that color. It's kind of red if it's mild. Mild, although it looks dangerous, but it's not. Honey, um, something. Want to try that one first? Yeah, it just came out of the oven. <laughs> or, oh, you mean hot, like spicy. It didn't come out of a fryer. Fryer. You're right, it's a fryer. Maybe try the slaw. It's a very lightly dressed slaw. Mayonnaise based. I've got a question. Did you ever try the um, Not yet. waffle? You're saving it for dessert? It's not a bad idea. This is medium. Which is spicier than mild, isn't it? Yes. <clears throat> I always get those confused, mild and medium. Medium seems like in the middle. 
mild seems kind of in the middle to me. No, mild is here, hot is here, medium is here. Okay, good to know. It's got a little bit of spice, but not too much. It's really not as bad as you thought? Mm -hmm. If this was Nashville hot chicken, and I ordered a medium, it would knock me on my butt. Yes, it would. Okay, so um, I did get the sandwich. So I'm gonna, if you wanna look at it here. It looks so pretty. Nice big piece there. It does look scary red, but so did the other, and Matt said it wasn't bad, so. Take a bite, nice brioche bun. Very nice looking. So this sandwich it is not spicy at all, even a tiny itty bitty bit. So the mild um, to me is no, not spicy at all. I think that's why they call it mild. I know. Sorry. It's a little peppery. It's got some pepper. Mm. It's pretty good. Not bad. It tastes good. I just probably should have gotten a little bit more spicy. Rather, it's a little bit sweet, and um, I probably would prefer it to be more spicy. But that being said, that just means that next time I can try a little bit more spicy, or maybe Matt will have, let me have a little bit of his medium just to taste it. Let's see. Okay, it's the sauce. It comes with sauce, the dipping sauce, and I found that these french fries taste really good dipped in it. It kind of tastes like ketchup and ketchup and mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Which you don't like, so. I don't. It's really good. I like it quite a bit. You get, uh, Matt, you dunk some of your chicken in this, right? Mm hmm. It's flavorful. It's really good. I like it. Uh, like sugar in it. Really? Mm. So it's different than a normal waffle? Yeah. So how would you describe it? Well, I would be It's a Belgian waffle and it's got like sugar stuff in it. It's kind of crunchy. I don't know how to describe it. Okay, I like the food here. I think it's really good. Um, I love the people here. The people here at the Arts District, uh, Houston Hot Chicken, two thumbs up. Really nice, really nice people. Um, very clean. Really like that about it. Um, the only thing that I would not order, which I didn't, we got it for free, but we got to try it, is the waffle. The waffle is so, so sugary sweet to me that it's unbearable. 
What you season. need to keep in mind is it's supposed to be paired with, with the chicken. hot chicken. So That's you right. get the sweet and the savory. So I don't think anyone's coming in here and getting just a waffle. Good point. So yeah, with the, with the chicken, yeah, it's good. Um, but, um, waffle for me, the chicken, I don't really like it anyway, so. I think the waffle would be really good with um, <clears throat> the hot chicken. Yeah, yeah. Like so a, a step up, out. a step up from from you know, I got the medium, and I that was hardly it, spicy at it all. It wasn't. It wasn't very spicy. So anyway, okay, yeah, we have lots of things to hit, take home. We hope you liked joining us, trying some Houston hot chicken. It was great. It was really fun. We had a very nice day today. Enjoyed looking at antiques. We didn't film anything. We just had a relaxing day. We didn't buy anything. So um, this was a nice, a nice ending to our day, having a meal here. We're so glad that you came along, and we thank you so much for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time on Hungry Vegas. Bye. Um, so we were talking in the car on the way home. <clears throat> there was a lady at the restaurant that I think is with a publication. And she's doing a story, or a review, of the Houston hot chicken. And um, the reason that we got that free chicken and waffles is because they made it for her to take a picture of. Now, I commented about how big the pieces of chicken were. That was what they prepared for her to take a photo of. And uh, ours that we ordered were much smaller. So, when watching the video, keep that in mind. The really big pieces that were with the waffle, those were for them to take a picture of for a publication. That's not how they serve it. So, I just wanted to throw that out there. I don't want someone to go and get food there and be disappointed because it's normal-sized chicken tenders, which is what we got, um, what we ordered. So...